Hi everyone and welcome back or welcome to Stitches Past 5. My name is Vera and today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite bag patterns that I found online which are all for free. Um, I think bags are just a fun like crochet project. Um, these are all crochet bags, not knit bags. I find crochet is actually a better option for bags because it's a little bit sturdier, it's a, bit, a little bit thicker, um, and you just know that it's gonna be stable, you're gonna be um, carefree in terms of like losing things or it stretching out too much or, yeah. First though, I wanna show you two uh, bags, so one bag and one pouch that I've made um, the first one is this one and I didn't use a pattern for this but what it is it's actually a um, recycled bed sheet so it looks like this on the inside it's a recycled bed sheet and could you not this is an entire single um, I, I guess it's a quilt cover a single quilt cover literally this big like i thought i was gonna get so much more out of it but nope um i even paired it with i think you can see it quite clearly here with some string so cotton white and cotton um blue string in order to just give it a little bit more sturdiness and yeah this actually like stands up by itself because i made it into a flat bottom um and it holds all my sheet music for my guitar so it just kind of chills there i love the color i mean this was already a part of my um apartment i guess as a bed sheet so <laughs> um i love that i was able to upcycle it and i really like the way it looks i think it turned out super effective i didn't make it into a pattern because i figured i'm gonna make this once and once only because it was pretty hard to make like getting it's literally all single crochet but it was a work of force getting this it is really steady so with my hook i was really struggling to not tear the bed sheet because it was really old to not um yeah to be able to get it through the holes and that was not that easy super happy with how it turned out though so i'm really happy that i can use this for my yeah sheet music um the other thing or the other pouch um, I made is this one. I've shown this before and it's essentially, it holds all my crochet hooks in one place here. I used to use a Ikea plastic bag, but I figured why not upgrade it? This was also free handed and I also didn't make it into a pattern just because I figured it wasn't like perfect, perfect. So I, yeah, I enjoyed making it. I think the stitch is fun, but I, yeah. It serves the purpose, put it that way. But I think it's a cute little pouch with a little zipper. Um, also completely free-handed, no pattern, but it is what it is. But now let's get into the free patterns that I found online that I wanna share with you today. So I've actually split this up into two categories. The first category is small bags or pouches. And then the second category is larger bags like sling bags or just something that's bigger than like a little pouch. The first one is called the Ulla Belt Bag and it is um, a pattern by Lakeside Loops. This one is gorgeous. I think their use or her use of yarn like with the neutral color is super nice. Um, it looks really sturdy as well. So I think um, when you're making a bag, be really wary, maybe don't use your really fine uh, acrylic yarn that you can tear with your hands, like use something that you have trouble tearing, something that will give you something sturdy. Um, and this looks exactly like that. I like that she crochets the strap as well. Um, I think, yeah, of course it's gonna stretch a little bit, but I think this one looks super sturdy, so I wouldn't be worried. And yeah, I think this goes with any summer outfit love the stitch uh contrast as well um i think she does include like a gauge that you should meet but i think with bag like until like you make the strap which is going to get longer or shorter according to your gauge if your bag is five centimeters larger who cares it really doesn't matter but i really love this crossbody pouch and yeah i hope to make it one day the next one is a another pouch another crossbody pouch but this time with a um, non-crochet strap this one is called the basic granny square bum bag and it is also a free crochet pattern um, the bag or the pouch 
um, is one of those typical like crossbody pouches that uh, are pretty trendy right now made out of granny squares but I believe there is an inlay a sewn inlay because otherwise I think the granny square holes in between the stitches would make it a little bit more prone to um, yeah losing your thing so I think this pattern incorporates an inlay that is yeah that will prevent things from falling out and it also includes a zipper at the top um, yeah, I think this is a relatively small pouch and I think, yeah, a fun one to try maybe for the summer. Then we have the Yarn and Hooks Crochet Clutch Bag with a zipper. Um, these are so fun. I love the color combinations, the orange and the blue, just the contrast colors. They just, to me, this screams summer. I think having these little pouches, these, these little bags in the summer is so fun. And what better way to crochet your own? And I think this just does just that. I think first the pattern can look a little bit intimidating, but I do think it is just a simple granny square style stitch. So it should be pretty simple to learn. Um, again, this comes with a zipper and it looks like it's just big enough to hold a phone. But I also think that with these patterns, you can always um, optimize it and, and change it a little bit to make it fit your needs. Next, from the same artist, so the artist uh, here or the creator is called Leslie and they are from Yarn and Hooks, um, so it's also the same website. Um, this is a crochet star stitch wallet or pouch and this one is so fun. I think star stitch or jasmine stitch, I think they're two are pretty similar, um, is super effective. It's so visually pleasing and once you figure it out, it's so so fun to use in projects it just looks so beautiful and i think especially with this like off brown color that this uh picture shows like the, the one that the image is made out of it looks so sleek and so um yeah almost like high fashion i would say like this is like a like a professional little pouch um, and yeah it just looks super effective next we have a really small tiny little pouch I included this one because it's so cute with a little button as well um, this one is the speedy button pouch and yeah this artist um, is called Moogly I believe um, and yeah they created this pattern I think it's really simple it looks pretty easy to work up it's made in really thick yarn in the pattern as well so it should be a really quick project um what i'm actually going to try to do is i just sorted out my wardrobe and i have a few items that i think i can cut up and reuse similar to the um, bag i showed at the beginning um so i think it's a really cool upcycling project to make a little pouch maybe of an old t-shirt or maybe of an old blouse you no longer wear um i think this one is so cute with a big button and yeah i think if I have the time, I will start on this one soon because I have the blouse lying around. I just need to cut it up and make it kind of. Um, yeah. This next one is called Tangerine Punch Zipped Pouch. That is a tongue twister. Um, and it's this really simple construction. I think similar to my crochet hook holder uh, pouch that I made um, in that it's a circle on one side, a circle on the other side, and then you join it together just with a large rectangle of single crochets. Um, with a zipper at the top. This one is so useful, so versatile. I think it can make a really great pencil case. Um, and of course, because you have it in a rectangle, you can kind of like change the length of it as you go along. So I think if you need it to fit like, I know I was once trying to make something for paint brushes, but they're so long. So like I was really struggling with patterns because they all kind of, you make it one width and then that's it. But I think with this one, you can just e e keep adding rows. Um, to make it longer or shorter to um, kind of meet your needs. Here the um, pattern is by Not My Designs, um, My Knots, Your Designs, so I think that's really funny. Um, and the artist is Apeksha Prasad and yeah, also a free pattern for you to try for the summer. Or winter, because I guess you can use pouches in the winter just as well. Next, we have the Basket Weave Stitch Pouch um, by I Heart Gansilio. I am so sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, and I think the artist is called Faye. 
and they've created this beautiful uh, pouch in basket weave stitch, which I think is so cool. I usually uh, mainly see basket weave um, on, I don't know, wearables. I've never really seen it in a bag or a pouch. So I think this is really, really effective. I also like the triangular shape it seems to have where it's like a bigger base and then it kind of like comes together at the top with a zipper on top. Um, once again, I think super effective even just in one color as it is shown in the picture here because that really lets the stitch and the texture speak for itself. And yeah, I think this should also be a pretty quick one to work up and they even include all these beautiful um, images to help you out, all the definitions are there, lots of pictures to guide you. So I think this would even be like a pretty good beginner's project if you're kind of looking to level up from your regular single and maybe double crochets. Next we have one that was so beautiful. It is by the website Lion Brand Yarn. So I guess they also have um, patterns. Now when you're on this website, don't be fooled by the prices next to the pattern because that's actually like the yarn, you're purchasing the yarn to make the item, um, which of course you don't have to because they provide the PDF patterns um, for free for a download. So um, I think with this one especially, like the yellow and the ochre is a beautiful pairing, a pairing that I've also used in the past and love. Um, and this looks like it's kind of like four granny squares, like uh, arranged to make a little pouch. It looks like a pretty small pouch. So I would also say that if you need it bigger, you could just add another row of squares either on the side or at the bottom um and yeah i think it also has a zipper at the beginning uh, at the at the top and the construction seems to be a um granny square sewn together um again all these patterns have gauges or gauges but i really don't think you need that for a bag or pouch because unless you're using like fingering yarn where the pattern asks for dk weight or even thicker yarn Obviously, then you're gonna have a size difference. But other than that, I think you can really use any yarn that you have lying around. And also, especially this one, because it is a pretty small project with different colors, I think this one would be a great stash buster as well. So the last pouch um, that I have included here is called the, I guess it's just a tapestry zipper pouch. And this one I think is super effective because of its color and its um, pattern definition so it's this blue white zigzag paired with this bright pink with a zipper on top this one does look a little bit more advanced if you have not or if you're unfamiliar with color um crocheting or crocheting with different colors um i think it could also be a really fun practice project because it's small you're working with two colors and it seems to be a pretty pretty um repetitive pattern i think once you have the the, once you get into the hang of the zigzag, it does repeat, and I think that could be effective. Um, and yeah, I think for this one, the colors that you choose are gonna make or break this project. Um, but yeah, also a free pattern download and a really effective one to try out. I think it's all single crochet, it looks like it at least. Now, moving on to the bags. So these are all uh, larger bags, smaller bags um that yeah you can maybe replace your mesh bag with that you're currently using or just make something that to match your summer outfits um who doesn't need like a big beach bag or something to go grocery shopping with now i think the preface with these bags is that like your yarn choice is going to be key to the durability and stable stability of um your project you don't want to put in all these hours of work and then figure out that you can only use the bag once or twice because I don't know, the granny squares are pulling apart or you put something too heavy in your bag. Um, so maybe do a little bit of research if the yarn that you currently have actually works as a bag. Um, I mean, if you're using it for something light, not really an issue, but I think if you're using it to grocery shop or to keep your water bottles and your books in, then definitely look into that before you start your project. The last thing you want is for you not to use it because it's not stable because of your yarn choice. Um, so just a quick um, preface. <laughs> now, the first one I'm including here is the Bermuda Tote. This one is beautiful, again, I think because of its color choice, but also because of the, like, the separate squares that kind of have the triangle zigzags. Um, I think the construction is really clever on this bag, especially with the zigzags or the, the, the 
squares that come up as diamonds to form to turn into the um the holder the handle the straps of the bag um i think this one as with most of these your color choice is key so put some thought into that before you start making it um, but I think this is such a fun one. Again, it's by the Lion Brand um, website. So this one says $34.95, but you can get the pattern for free. That is just the price you would pay, like with the last one, for the yarn to make this project. The next one I have picked out is a really fun one. This one is funky. This one I can see is like kind of like a beach bag, um, just something different. And this one is called um, Lily Sugar and Cream Rainbow Hexagon Beach Bag to crochet. <laughs> um, and I mean, the pattern here uses super funky colors. Um, maybe not something that I would personally pick out as like a bag that I'm gonna crochet, but it works and it's so fun. And I think that's like a good sign to just step out of your comfort zone a little bit and try something new. Um, of course, you can also make this in muted color and have it be a little bit more, you know, on the less <laughs> eclectic side, but why not go, go big, like go bold. Um, this one also does look a little bit more intricate in terms of construction and the creation of these granny hexagons. But if you're looking to challenge yourself a little bit, maybe not only color wise, but also stitch wise, I think this would be a really great project. And it comes just as this PDF um, on Shopify. so. I'm not even sure who the creator is. I guess it's Lily from the <laughs> from the pattern. Um, but yeah, who knows? Kudos to the to the creator anyways. <laughs> the next pattern is from your inspirations. Um, and this one actually comes in two versions. It just comes in like a larger bag pouch and then a smaller pouch. I picked this one out because I think the pattern is so fun. It's all these small uh, triangles of different colors. Uh, paired with this base layer of like a muted white or beige almost color. Um, this one I think also a great uh, place to start learning how to do color work because you're only working with two colors in one row. And yeah, I think so fun again, very modern. Um, kind of want to make this right away, maybe into a pillowcase, maybe into a bag, maybe into a pouch. Um, yeah, I think the 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 skill level here is intermediate because it is color work but i think nothing that you can't figure out um, if you're a little bit into crocheting then i'm not sure who the creator is because it's just their website your inspirations um but next is another bag from uh by your inspirations this time the creator is mentioned it's gail bunn who's a designer and this one is a really fun um just like a tote bag style kind of bag with a long strap and different um patterns different stitches to create this really visually interesting bag um this one uses lightweight yarn so i guess it's size three my guess is that it's a oh, worsted weight i'm not sure um but again i think if you use bigger yarn you have a bigger bag smaller or thinner yarn smaller bag not the end of the world um not like with a wearable and uh yeah it even includes like all the diagrams for the different patterns or for the different uh, textures and i think it's just a really simple bag simple construction of bag um that's super effective and yeah next we have the rhythm tote bag by crochet.com and the pattern is by kathleen burlow burlow um this one i picked mainly because of the color i think the light uh blue with the teal is just a really fun combination it does include a leather strap um sometimes i'm held back by these patterns if they include something that i don't have that i need to like go out and spend money on or spend my time on trying to find um but i think this one like if you want to replace the leather strap with something else that would work perfectly fine as well um and yeah what a fun bag i really see this as like a beach bag or like a like a quick shopping bag or something like that um it does come like as a paid pattern but then you can also download the free pattern so i guess i would download the free pattern given <laughs> given the options the difficulty level is intermediate and um the yarn weight is actually lace yarn so that's interesting i guess it will be quite a long project to take on 
um, but I think one that's definitely gonna be worth your time. Next, we have the Stash Buster Project Bag. And this one kind of reminds me of the uh, bedsheet bed bag that I made. Um, this is just a really funky, looks pretty sturdy um, basket bag type of thing. Um, this one is by Pretty Sweet Crochet. Um, and yeah, it's essentially a pattern that just w walks you through row by row what you need to do. And it seems like a pretty easy project. It's all single crochets and it has this little fat flap so that you could also close it. I'm not even sure if I were to make this, if I would make the flap, it is really, if it's really like kind of like serves a basket function. Um, but if there's something that you're gonna take out, yeah, maybe a flap, flap is nice to not lose your, your uh, belongings. The next one is one of my favorites and it is the Moroccan tote. And I think the name already describes it super well. It is this beautiful Moroccan or oriental tile pattern um, with these beautiful leather straps. You can see that the designer of this, um, who is Sol Solvren Coret, Coret? <laughs> Um, put a lot of time into designing this. It looks super professional. It looks very, very um, intricate. And I love the color combination. I guess it's this ochre and um, beige, ochre and white. And I think it's just so beautiful. And if you are into like big bags with a bit of color work, I think this could be super effective. I think this color goes with most things nowadays. Um, but also don't be afraid to switch up the colors. Don't be afraid to maybe, I don't know, make it green, make it blue and pair it with a nice contrast color. Um, I really enjoy this. I think it's a little bit on the intermediate level side just because of the color work and color work in crochet I find is not that easy. Um, it also, the pattern, it walks you through round by round. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna start making this once I have the time to. Again, with the straps, I think with this bag, the straps are such a big part of the bag because the dark leather with these colors just works super well. I would have to see. I think you could always crochet a strap, you could buy another strap or use a strap of an old bag that maybe you were no longer using or maybe that you've thrown out. All right, the camera died there, but... Um, the next one is a classic and it is the French market bag. Um, the designer here is called Alexandra and the website is Two of Wands. This is your typical classic um, market bag, like not like supermarket, but like market market, if you know what I mean. Um, so everyone will know these types of bags and I think they're so fun. I love that they're kind of coming back. I haven't seen them in like a while, um, but yeah, they're perfect to hold all your groceries. Mind you, maybe not the little items because I think they will fall through, but if you're going to market, buying your fruits and vegetables, I think this is a great bag to take with you. Um, I think it's constructed just with single crochets or chains, sorry. Um, and the rounds are described in this pattern. I love the blue color as well. I think in these pictures it just goes so beautifully with the yellow of the lemons. Um, and yeah, like what's there not to like about like your classic crochet um, mesh bag. The last bag is a super fun one. I think this one is like, I've never really heard of like a crochet uh, plastic bag, <laughs> but apparently it's a thing. And I mean, it's so fun, so why not? And it's essentially a crochet bag that mimics the shape of a plastic bag. Um, so <laughs> it's, I mean, white yarn, of course you can use any color yarn, but the shapes so are like the handles and like the way it's constructed at the bottom, I think is so clever. Um, this one is by Yarn and & Hooks and the designer is also Leslie, so I guess it's the same designer that made the pouches that I um, shared earlier on. And yeah, this one also, like, it includes video tutorials and it also just like goes round by round. This one is so cool. I really want to make this one. I think it's like, like, why not go to the grocery store and be like, oh no, I have my plastic bag with me. Um, and even if you put the comparison to the plastic bag aside. I think it looks really sturdy. 
it's really simple and I think that's what makes it so um, like powerful and good looking and yeah I think what more is there to say about this really fun effective and what also seems to be 